Um, so my name's Amy, I'm going to be the instructor today, okay? So I'm just going to get you to watch a quick video first. So don't worry if you have any questions. <coughs> your flight training to ensure that your experience here is safe and fun. I've logged over 5,000 hours of flying in the wind tunnel, so don't worry, you're in good hands. Before we begin, please let your instructor know if you've had any previous or current neck or back injuries or shoulder dislocations. We need the best information possible to ensure your safety. So first things first, the classroom. The key to flying is good body position. When you enter the tunnel for the first time, it's important to get into this position as soon as possible. Jess is here to help by demonstrating. There are three fundamentals to a good fly position. First, keep your chin up. Second, keep your arms at eye level, with your elbows slightly bent. And third, you want to stay relaxed and hold still. Doing these things will help keep your body balanced in a stable position. Now let's add some wind to make it more realistic. As you can see, talking inside the wind tunnel is not going to be an option, so we'll use hand signals to adjust your body position. The first signal is chin up. Keeping your chin up helps keep your body balanced and also makes it easier for you to see your instructor's hand signals. The next two hand signals are to straighten and bend your legs. If I give you either of these hand signals, it's important to do them slowly and smoothly until I give you a thumbs up. Finally, this hand signal means to relax your muscles while maintaining a still body position. I know what you're thinking. But Renee, how am I supposed to relax when I have to concentrate my arms, legs, and chin? Well, you're right. It takes a little practice and some help, but that's what we're here for. Next up, we'll get geared for our flight. Part of your ripcord experience is making sure that your flight suit fits well, along with your goggles and helmet. If you need any assistance, please ask one of your ripcord members for help. When the doors open to the flight chamber, please walk inside and take the next seat available all the way down along the bench. Please leave enough room for the person seated next to you. After the current flyer exits the flight chamber, go to the wind tunnel door and wait for the instructor to give you the goal signal. As you enter the wind tunnel, open your arms wide, look up, and lean into the wind, immediately opening up into your skydiving body position. Your instructor will make adjustments as needed to your position. Remember, chin up, arms out, legs apart, and slightly bent. Flashing lights will signal that your flight time is almost up. Your instructor will start by preparing you to exit the wind tunnel. Once out the door, grab the outer edges and bend your knees. Stand up and step out of the chamber. Don't forget to high-five your fellow flyers as you make your way back to the bench. Our goal at Ripcord is to make sure you have fun and safely improve your skills on each and every flight. Maybe you're thinking, Renee, this is great and all, but I want to fly upside down and do flips and twists. And we want you to as well. But these maneuvers require additional training and practice in the wind tunnel. If you have as much fun today as we think you will, we encourage you to ask your instructor about our progression program, which will put you on the right path to learning more advanced moves. Ripcord is not an amusement ride, it's the real thing. You don't need to jump from 12,000 feet to experience skydiving. In fact, you'll be flying with the same wind tunnel that professional skydivers from all around the globe use to practice their skills. You will never again have to wonder what it feels like to fly, because you're about to find out firsthand. From all of us, thank you for visiting Ripcord, and have a great flight.